it's Allie. So right now I'm getting ready to head out into Boston to see one of my very good friends perform at a comedy show. I'm really excited, so come along with me. Let me know what you Next think. Comic. He's been in the Boston Comedy Festival, one of my favorites in Boston. Please put your hands together and welcome Tyler Morrow! Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Hi. Not yet. Okay, that's there. I'm starting a week. All right. Uh, I was glad to have you out. Glad y'all came out tonight. You got off uh, Facebook, whatever you would be doing at home. Uh, you ever done uh, this on Facebook? You ever looked up an old crush on Facebook? Every Monday for 11 months straight. <laughs> it's a fun one. Though. Don't do that. I've never done that. Um, uh, I had a crush with it back like in grade school, like and and like I know I, I pretty much early on she told me she was like this is never gonna happen so I became just friends with her. I've been friends with this girl for like a decade over a decade, right? I went to lunch with her it was like a, maybe like a month ago and we we're eating and she told me this is really sad. She was like the things aren't going well for her and she's like I'm actually really suicidal now and I was like oh my god that's a horrible thing like that's so terrible like if. Like, I, I feel bad, like, if, you, if you're ever gonna make a crazy decision, call me first, don't just, I wanna wake up, my friend's gone, or whatever, right? And uh, she goes, oh, no, no, well, I was gonna kill myself, you know? You'd know about it, before it happened. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> that was really cryptic, I don't know what this means, right? She goes, oh, you always have a crush on me, you know? I gotta have sex with you before I kill myself. Yeah. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever done. <laughs> That is so kind. That's so nice. That's like, like uh, obviously it's it's a pity fuck, right? <laughs> it's a pity fuck. That's all it is. But it's so much pity, right? <laughs> that's, like, that's a lot of pity to put into a person that they're like on the end of their life and they're like, actually, oh, I gotta go find that loser and kiss him on the penis. Where's that guy? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's a lot. Um, I. I'd do it. I'd do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a bad thing. I would do it. I think I, w I would. I'd have a plan. I'd have a plan, right? Like, I'd be like, you know, we're going to do it right when I finish. I'll, like, tie her to a chair and call the cops or something like that, right? You know? Like, ah, come down here. I just had sex with this girl. Now she's trying to kill herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's me again. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My plan wouldn't work, anyways, because. Like, I always fall asleep, like, right after I come, so I wouldn't come together. You know, I'd like, fall asleep, wake up, she'd be hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> like, ah, oh, I gotta stop getting so sleepy. I gotta stop, I gotta stop killing people, you know? And, uh, that's as dark as it goes, don't worry. <laughs> it's fictional, and I'm a real person, it's a show. Um, I wish my heroes... <laughs> would stop like molesting people and stuff. <laughs> That's really annoying, man. Ah, uh, it's a pain in the ass. Cause like I, a lot of people I look up to, like, I like recommend people. I'm like, you gotta watch this guy. This guy's so good. And then they go check him out. They're like, you talking about the rapist? Be like, oh, what? <laughs> I guess. I guess. I don't know. I support the rapist. Shit. Like, I didn't mean to. Like, ah, oh, it's all like, everybody. It was like Cosby and you know, Louis C.K. and then. Is it Jared from Subway? Like, if that's how you lose weight, I don't want to be a part of it. <laughs> like, everyone in football, apparently. <laughs> if you're on the defensive side, like, you hurt people. It's not a good thing, it's bad. And like, I'm a big football fan. I'm a big Vikings fan, which was an issue for me in the past, because uh, Adrian Peterson, yeah, he was hitting them. He hit his kids, not good. Um, but he was the only jersey I own. <laughs> The jerseys are expensive. <laughs> and so I go out on Sunday, and I'm like, I'm gonna represent my team. I gotta do it, I wear my jersey. Go out to the mall, and I had people yell at me. They're like, hey, you know he beats kids? And you're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but he's like really fast, too. Like, come on. I just want a championship. That's all I want, please. Then I'll hate him. I'll throw rocks at his car when he gets traded, which he was traded, so we're good. We're going out tonight. Uh, it's time. Uh, yeah, it's good. The thing I worry about is like the more I look up to someone, it's like the worst thing I find out they did. Like every time I'm like, ah, oh, that guy, the one I like the most, like, which scares me because like the person I look up to the most in my life is my my, my father. <laughs> so I am terrified to find out what that man is doing in the basement. <laughs> I don't know what kittens he's murdering. I don't know what's going on. 
It's not good. He's a, he's a good dad, but he's probably a bad dad. I don't know, but he's a terrible father, too. I'm going to be a bad father as well, I've already uh, decided. Uh, <laughs> uh, like I, I have a, a nephew, and I hung out with him a few times, and I was like, oh, I'm going to be bad. I get it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be good at this. Uh, my nephew actually recently, I took him a, gave him a ride to the comic book store, and in the car, he asked me what anal was. <laughs> 11 years old, <laughs> right? I'm 30 right now. I'm still hazy on a few aspects of it. Like, like I wouldn't pass a test on anal. I would not, like, I don't know. Like, like, and I got, but I'm the cool uncle. I wanna know, I wanna be cool. I wanna be, act like I know what's going on. But I, I think back to my childhood. When I was uh, 12, I asked my dad what sex was, and we didn't talk for two years after that. <laughs> So I want to ruin this relationship between me and him. And I'm like, man. But I was like, I gotta like, I gotta be. I can't like, lie to the kid. And I was like, ah, oh, is that like we're going to the comic book store? I was like, is that a comic book thing? Maybe it's a comic book thing. He's like, no, I heard about it in Sex Ed. And I'm like, fuck, goddamn. It. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, all right, it's uh, it's like butt, it's butt stuff. It's like butt stuff. Like it's, it's like it's, you know, it's when you do it in the butt, right? The kid goes. Do what in the butt? <laughs> I just rear end the car in front of you right now. <laughs> Maybe Kevin will die. Maybe he'll run away. No, I'm not allowed to kill him. I'm not allowed. Uh, so I was like, all right, Kevin. It's when you do sex in the butt. <laughs> Goes, what sex? <laughs> what kind of sex ed class are you in? <laughs> that's like day one. I thought they were like, that's what sex is. But they did that, right? No. Um, I find out he hasn't taken sex ed yet. His friend took it, mentioned it to him. I don't know why you mentioned anal to anyone. <laughs> what conversation that comes up in. <laughs> and he got curious. He's like, I have a next semester, so good student, right? I'm happy. I'm glad he's like looking ahead. But I just started on a chapter 22, like, bam. Like, went too far into the book. Like, day one, they're going to be like, this is the penis. Uh, this is the vagina. And he's going to be like, where's the butt where I put the penis in? Where is that? My uncle told me about it. We were alone in his car. And I went to the road. <laughs> That's too early to learn about that. It's an early age. Uh, I learned uh, at an early age about death myself. Um, when I was in high school, there's a kid in a wheelchair. It's okay, he's dead now. So <laughs> it's over. Before. I don't know. Um, he, he died in high school. Uh, and it was a very sad moment then. Uh, so we had all like a big um, assembly. The guy went together and they had a few kids do like eulogies for him. But like death was completely ruined for me because heaven just got completely screwed up. Because there's one kid, he was so sad, he's from his whole class, he's just talking about his friend, he just died, it's awful, but he's just like, Peter, I miss him so much, but you know, he's up in heaven now. You know, he's rolling around. I hope he's not! <laughs> that's like the worst heaven ever, that's how heaven is? Like, that's, you just show up and God's like, dude, you came in the chair, you stay in the chair, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm not God. I can't fix nerve damage, Peter. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> All right. I'm Tyler Barr. Thanks a lot for listening. I appreciate it. Ooh, yeah.